Hey guys, this is DFD, aka Dark Frozen Depths, back with more Sengoku Providence. Now, there's a few updates that they actually had. First off is this Rebellion event thing, which is just like the previous one. You got like practically two weeks to try and rack up a hundred thousand points, roughly. I think they said 10, 10, 10 for it, which is um, 101,010 points, but it's a weird number. I'm taking my time on it because I'm not really too worried about the rewards list on this one. Because it's actually good for people that actually still don't have a lot of Sumi. Mainly because of the fact they give you this girl, Eshuin. She's actually pretty strong against Watasumi if you only have her evolve. If you have her Godified, you're doing it wrong. Because the game's starting to make you pay attention to which ones you need and which versions. Because of the simple fact that, interestingly enough, while her Godified version is better overall against Watasumi, her evolve form has a poison neutralization. Because some some forms have special passive skills. She gets poison ward in her evolve form, but paralyzed ward in her god of that, and that's what's the problem. So that said, you're gonna want the um you're gonna end up wanting the poison ward. Trust me on that, because the poison from Watasumi ends up taking out half your health. In fact, she's up on the um she's up in the um event section where you can sit and fight the inhuman girls and think every Saturday. Today while I'm recording this actually is Saturday, but um, another one right here is um, Yusai, she's actually pretty strong for um, someone that only goes up to 5 star max, her, her attack power actually rivals the other, um, a few other 6 stars, but that's just her attack power, so keep that in mind. She also makes a pretty nice debuff or two, so she could be worth using, but maybe, maybe, maybe not. I did find out, however, on the, um, the newer updates, too, that we're about to be getting Kieran, or Karen, I forgot how to pronounce her name. And in that case, you're gonna want to sip and try and raise up a darkness scene. However, you want specific girls on that darkness scene. Just keep in mind, it's gonna end up being a light-based enemy. And you know, light versus darkness in that game is trip. I'm gonna show off two um, gotcha girls you're definitely gonna wanna try and pull here. Just get at least one of them. This one, which is um, Moto Chica, she's actually got this uh, ability right here. Reduces damage taken from light enemies by 55% for Darkness Warrior Princess. Now, there's another one that's just like her. But this one's got the special ability of sitting up reducing light enemies defense by 65%. That's a very good move. It come out with the fact that I got Shudden Doji's that boosts up um, your attack power by like 50%. That's a very good combo to have. But, um... I don't think it's this one. Yeah, it's probably one of the newer ones in full, but she's also a strong one to have in your front lines too. Attack power by 40% for Darkness Warrior Princess. That's only if you you really want to risk actually taking damage from um, from Karen. So keep that in mind. I don't even know why I full screen thing he's popping up. But um, yeah, here she is. Now I think yeah, her um leadership skills removed if you have her um. Modified is removed. Either way, she's got the ability to reduce the light damage too. I've actually shown a video too, where two of these things combined makes your damage taken pitiful levels. I mean, I'm dead serious, like really, really pitiful levels. You'll start taking like hundreds of damage instead of thousands, like maybe around like between that and 100 to 400. So yeah, that's actually a pretty strong combo right there to actually get. Of course, I got Ranmaru from the Gacha and, and a few others. But the thing is, like, the main reason I'm trying to do this video, too, is simply because of this. Because I didn't realize how stupidly easy it is to get level, what, 99 for this girl. Now, if you remember way back on the very first Gojo event, where you can actually get this 6-star girl, 
you know, it's a really complicated process of doing so. You see this one right here where you can exchange for um, 2,500 sinking points. Now, on the second one, it's the same case, but she's 15,000. You want to know why they happened did that? Because it's that easy to get to Wuck 99. They want you to really pay for it to get Wuck 99 now. But these are still the same since they already screwed up on that. But you can get her one star version over and over again. Like just keep getting her one star. Like I've already got um one already. There's another two. That makes four. There, I got about ten of them. But that's the reason why I also had this um, set to the water girls too, because it makes it easier to get to them. Yeah, this is just insanely OP because you see I got her to what 30 right now without grinding her dojo. And it's funny too, I'm doing this for the other dojo which normally pops up, but um... As you can see, just select this one. Any version of her will end up leveling her up. Um, Lux that up. As you can see, it's going to jump to 40. These are the one star versions, and that's a six. I mean, you can get a one, two, six star. That's why I also said the set. You can also try and um, build them up that way, too. So I basically spent like, I think, 25,000 sinky points just to sit and get her 10 luck levels. That's pretty strong. But as you can see, my sinky points are starting to run really dry here. I could probably get her like level 80 ish, maybe. You get four luck levels every time, um, every 10,000. But that's the thing, it's like. It's insane how much you can level this girl up. And then of course there's Gotcha Sinky too, but they're like way more, like you need 150,000 just to get a 5 star. And then there's also the 4 stars for 10,000. So yeah, you're paying basically 3 star prices for um, a, a 1 star girl, but she can sit and get her luck up so much, it's insane. But yeah, the main reason why I'm just annoying this is for this thing right here. Like, yeah, see the Sendoku Gojo. The Sendoku Go Dojo, I keep messing that up, I don't know why. But yeah, Watasumi's back again. She'll still, she'll still be there permanently. Like, once they add them, they're there every weekend, basically. But yeah, as you already know, going into this, you'll get, um, Daruma at a chance. Now, her luck's not much, much lower than um, the other one. Like, I got her to 39 luck on my own. But, take luck space girls if you're going after this method. And you will, I do believe you always get rewarded um, to read the room up. But for each girl with um, how luck you can get up to 3 more. And it is dark as but they're not all that strong. They make sure everybody can grind it. I don't even think you need to boost the stats on your girls. As long as you kill her in the corner first, because she's got an um, ability where she'll actually make one of them invincible and they'll just draw the fight. And also, the names of the um, 
Oh, there's a way to come up on the critical. Hey, see, I walked out and got, got one from all three. So yeah, that's six Daruma you can get. You only get them from luck bonuses, from what I can tell. So yeah, six Daruma, six big Daruma, and you're good to go. Like, that's the reason why I've been leveling up her luck, because she can get up to, as high as possible to try and up my rates. But, um, yeah, definitely try to get your Darkness Girls up for that Karen fight that's about to come out. And then on top of that, there's this Rebellion event, too. Now, in the case of this Rebellion event, it's in between on difficulty on the bonus stages, because the first one had a lot of difficulty to deal with. Because those, those Inhumans started hitting pretty hard enough to this point where they could kill your team. But, um... In this one, they're not too bad. They're a little bit weaker, but you'll still take them out no problem. And the first one, and the second one that we have before, they go down real easy. It's insane. I like the fact that they have the, um, the normal boss theme for this. Wiped out. So this is why I've also been hitting the dojo. I've been trying to get these girls' skills way up. Let's see what? See, I'll speed all my See, they actually do damage, but they're not going to like kill you. No, it's just like either using a weak team or. The first one gave you 600 and the last one gave you 720. You only get 490 this time, so. It's more based on how much you grind the normal stages. And then the same typical rules apply. If you want to use a Magatama to get in here, you can. Which I only recommend if your stamina is below 100. Because, keep that in mind, it takes 100 stamina to get in there, so you're honestly getting more points if you sit up and use your stamina normally, and then try to get in there. That's only if... Well, actually, it doesn't even have to be 100 stamina. If I add it up correctly just now, 50 stamina or more is worth it. It's just grind it normally. Because you'll end up spending practically a Magatama just to get in there. And, by the, and plus, at the rate where you're sitting up getting 50 stamina, you'll be able to do um, stages normally, so you'll probably be leveling up real quickly. You see, my stamina is much, much higher because I'm like level 123. But as you can see, there's points there. You probably get more of these. I'm not sure. Like, I'm going to try to get past 37,900 points just to see what else lies ahead. Because, like I said, there, it goes up to um, 100. And 1,010 points, so... I'll get back to you on that one eventually. But yeah, try to get Eshuin if you want to get, um, Watasumi. Try to get those two Darkness Girls I mentioned if you want to, um... If you want to go after Karen, but who's about to appear. Now, last thing I gotta show off, and this one's important because it's also time limited. There's a new girl in the reward section for the medals, so you gotta be spamming the crap that you deal for. As you can see, 500 medals, I'm getting close. But she's only there till the end of May. So, you're gonna wanna get her now. And unfortunately, I don't think you're gonna get her to walk 99 anytime soon. I don't think any of these girls are meant to get to walk 99. But yeah, all this stuff is tempting. Especially the veteran Tanukis if you can't clear that one stage. But save up your medals. You want her. She's not like the other ones will stay in, in there forever. She is time limited. So get her. And naturally the gotchas, of course. Like, you know, there's random um, gotchas that keep popping up. They keep shuffling attack skills, the only skills, and all that other stuff. So 
to pay attention to which way you're going if you're using free bet Nagatama. Naturally, if you're doing the normal ones, then you just run in this. In fact, this is where you start finding some other girls in there. Like, see, there's me one, um, and Chosen Kabe. Those two are the ones you want to pay attention to. If you can get them, level them up as soon as possible. You only need one. That's just to have some decent prep with going to Karen's fight. I don't know if she does any status ailments like that godforsaken poison one Sumi does. But as long as it's not poison, you're safe. If it's silence, it might get in the way. If it's, um, the petrifier or the paralysis, it can also get in the way. But if it's poison, it's usually going to kill you because recent Inhumans been getting a lot of, um, strong poison attacks where it'll take out chunks of your HP and just violates their normal rules. As long as she doesn't poison you, you're fine. I'll have to end up looking at her video again and everything just to see all that. But anyways, that's all for now, guys. Again, there's a lot of prep work, a lot of different things going on in this. So, just be prepared. A few will fall in hand, too, especially if you're doing what I'm doing. Like, I'm trying to get the... I'm trying to get the workout for the one girl so I can grind a dojo. Spending points and stamina points on the dojo is going to fill up this thing, too, and to help me out with the rebellion event, so... Again, it's worth checking out. There's also um storyline too that should be coming way later, but who knows? I know there's a seventh one on the um the DMM version. And we only got six, so they'll probably get that to us in a month or so, especially since they had us rush to clear the hard mode. But anyways, that's all for now. Guys, take care.